Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Those of you out there who are suicidal, hopeless, you have no strength to change your life, well, you have just tuned in the right channel. Welcome to the Worker's Prayer, and we're going to be together every day from Monday to Friday, 5 to 6 in the morning, to start your day blessed. You have to put your faith into action. If you are suicidal, if you having uh, maybe um, problems of anxiety and nervousness, you don't know how to fix this, here's the recipe of how you can change your life. My name is Sharon Jacobs. I had this constant fear inside of me, anxiety, always nervous. And at the age of 19, I've got married, which my, my marriage was very good in the beginning. But few years after my marriage, we started to face problems in my marriage. Problems, constant fights. I could not know, I did not know how to deal with my problems in my house. This led me to develop depression, depression in my marriage. Because of this depression, um, we start to have constant fight. It ends up with physical fights. I remember one night, um, me and my husband was fighting. I mentioned in the argument, I'm going to take my own life. I can't take it anymore. And I went to the toilet. I put, took a handful of painkillers and I end up in hospital after that. This is where I, have, I realized that I needed help. When I came to the church, my mother was the one that invited me because she knows, she knew everything. So she was the first one that came to the church and she invited me to come to the church for my deliverance. Today I can say I have peace inside of me. I suffer no longer from depression. I don't have any fear, and I'm very proud of myself, and God is the only one that has restored my life, and I thank Him. If you also realize that life for you is no longer possible, then instead of going out there to commit suicide, put, put that suffering, the sadness that you have, in the hands of God, and He is going to change your situation like He changed her life. So we are going to pray right now. Have your glass of water ready. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we enter your presence. And with me, I have a lot of people there suffering the same way or even worse as compared to Sharon. People live in pain, in distress, and completely hopeless. And worse, they think that they are suffering like that because you, God, you don't care. Therefore, I ask you that when they drink from this glass of water, that you touch their lives and bring in them healing. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now, if you realized that your life has to change, these are the two steps you can take. Call our helpline and ask about the, the spiritual treatment which can change your life, definitely. And the other one, you can visit one of our UCKG branches throughout South Africa. God bless all of you. Tomorrow, 5 to 6 in the morning, we are back here on E with one more Worker's Prayer. God bless you all and bye-bye. Workers' Prayer.